Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Hope you all had a great weekend. We're back with another trip in the wild and started off at this Target. They had a pretty nice variety of everything. I've been really looking for the Bowman Baseball Mega Boxes and was very happy when I saw they had a pretty good amount of them. It is disappointing that they raised the prices this year to $45. I still ended up grabbing a few boxes and eventually moved on to this Walmart. They also had a nice selection of everything. There was Mosaic Football again, which I found very interesting. There was also Mosaic Soccer, Bowman Baseball, and every other sport you could think of as well. We were really hoping to find some of that Prism Football or something new, but it was still cool to see some Mosaic Football. Then they also had a very large Pokemon selection in the back that I didn't know anything about, but it's always nice to see some product on the shelf. After that, we hit a few different Myers to see what they had. In the first store that we went to, they had more of the Optic Basketball repacks, but that was probably the highlight of the restock. There was also these new Meyer Pokemon Mystery Boxes, but that's not really my thing. I eventually ended up passing on everything at this first store, and we then ended things off at this second Meyer store, and sadly, they also had a pretty similar disappointing restock. They also had the Optic Basketball Hangers and even more Pokemon product. So hopefully moving forward we get some better products. There's a ton to be excited about, but still overall, it was a fun hunting trip out in the wild. Alrighty, and as you guys were able to see from the card hunting side of the video, we were able to make it out of the wild with some really nice product. Was very excited and surprised to see some more mosaic football blaster boxes out in the wild. So in this video, we're going to be opening up two of those boxes. Hopefully, I do love mosaic football, but hopefully this is the last time that we have to open any before finding some prism football in the wild. Hopefully we start seeing those on the shelves next week. But I'm a huge fan of Mosaic Football. I think uh, Panini needs to do more retail products the way they did Mosaic Football to wear. You guys can see right here. They put like tons of really nice stuff. You can see all the numbered cards. There's Honeycombs, Genesis. Down here, there's Rookie Scripts, Gold Autographs, Storm Chasers, Stained Glass, Busted, Masquerade Ballers. Tons of, uh, tons of Hobby Box inserts really rare awesome parallels so hopefully prism football can be half as exciting as mosaic i think it's pretty uh underrated but we got two boxes here hopefully it can treat us good i've opened a ton and a ton of mosaic football so far and i have not really pulled anything too crazy so be nice we got a green tyreek hill and a rookie Trey Sermon on the back. Wrong Trey 49er rookie. So excited to find, hopefully find some prism football in the wild next week though. Who knows? It's been delayed so long. <laughs> we got Leonard Williams, another green. Not a rookie. Chris Carter. The man of the year, Jason Witten on the back. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I have a PSA submission that I'm going to be sending out soon. So hopefully we can pull some bangers maybe here. But hopefully when uh, Prism Football comes out, we get some there as well. All right, we got Dion, Fouts, Jalen Hurts got game, and Gary Brightwell on the back. See, this is how Mosaic Football treated me, though. This is very tough to pull, you know, the cards that you're looking for. Got pack number four here, I think. We got Amari Cooper. Uh, we got a green, another green, got game, King Henry. Rookie, wrong, Patriots rookie. Christian Barmore. Come on, they at least got to give us a base rookie quarterback, something. Halfway through box number one. We got Ray Lewis, Claypool, get a rookie, rookie green, Jabril Cox. 
and Bengal. Joe Mixon on the back. Wrong Joe Bengal. All right. They got to hook us up with something. At least one nice base rookie. And right, we got a silver. It's that mosaic silver. We have Deion Jones, Big Ben. It's for the Giants. Leonard Williams, mosaic. And Michael Thomas on the back. All right, a couple more boxes, or a couple more packs to go in box number one. It's been looking like a typical mosaic retail. TJ Hawkinson, Ricky Williams. Got game, Devin White. Oh, we got a Jets rookie, Elijah Moore. I mean, I like Elijah Moore, but obviously we want Zach Wilson. We want the rookie quarterback. Last pack. We got Jamie Collins, Winfield. A got, or excuse me, touchdown masters. I actually like this insert, Aaron Rodgers. And D Dax M My Milne, Milan on the back. That was like the worst blast drive ever opened of any product. Couldn't even give us one decent name. Like goodness. So I open in product has this been pretty this hasn't been the same lately especially this year i feel like in 2021 for retail was pulling bangers left and right this year it just has not been the same it's like they raised the prices and made it 10 times more hard to hit you know cards that you're actually looking to pull but they gave you a ton of rookies that you're like who like who is dax milne or milne all right let's keep it rolling though I missed the twenty dollar of last year days because it's like even if you get one of those kind of boxes, you don't really feel too bad because it was only twenty bucks. Now that they're like forty, it's like, ugh. We got Aaron Rodgers, TJ, Green, Chase Winovich, and Tion Sanders on the back. I know Prism Football is probably gonna murder me ten times harder than Mosaic did, which says a lot because Mosaic was been hitting me with them Mike Tyson the Mike Tyson punches alright we got a Brady Taysom Hill Green Bobby Wagner and a base Joey B on the back sad but true but that might be like one of our best pulls so far is a base second year Joey B alright we got Peyton Manning McLaurin. We've got a Herbert touchdown masters and a Rondale Moore mosaic rookie on the back. It's a cool touchdown masters herb. Got five more packs to go. We got Peyton Manning, Culpepper, a will to win green mosaic Joe Burrow. And Anthony Schwartz on the back. I mean, at least they gave us a nice color. Definitely doesn't satisfy the rip by any means, but hopefully that means more things to come. We're officially halfway through box number two. Got another base or another uh, Herbert. We got a rookie mosaic for the Colts. Uh, Deo Adi Yingbo. <laughs> like, come on, man. It's taking away the fun, Tyree Kill. When you go like a hundred boxes in a row without pulling anything, definitely kills uh kills the fun. Got another green rookie back there. Fingers crossed. Thomas Davis Senior. Got another Brady rookie for the Broncos. Patrick Sertan and Ray Lewis on the back alright it all comes down to this two more packs remaining appreciate everyone that stuck around so far through this rip got a base Mac Jones rookie well the debut 
see that in a moment. Derwin James, we got a rookie silver for the Jaguars. Yeah, for the Jaguars. <laughs> Why couldn't you have been Trevor Lawrence? Travis Etienne and Kylan Hill. I mean, we'll always take a silver rookie, but man. Nice base, Mac Jones. Better than nothing. Got one more pack to go. Let's see what we're working with here. Everyone say a prayer to the card, guys. Hopefully you can have something in it. No color. All right, Derek Carr, Reggie Bush, Terrell Davis, Hall of Fame, and Amari Rogers, base rookie on the back. So that's officially gonna do it for this video. Was it many solid pulls? Hopefully this is the last time we got a rip mosaic before we can find some prism football. We got the Travis Etienne, a couple Joe Burrows, some touchdown masters inserts, and then the base NFL debut, Mac Jones, probably the best pull we had. So that's officially gonna do it for this video. Like I said, hopefully we got some, hopefully we can find some prism football in the wild next week so we don't have to keep going through these uh, brutal beatings mosaics giving us, but always a fun time ripping product open. It's not always, you know, so bad. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Show some love as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that, and peace out.